Right, unit 12, task 5, P5, P6, P7, M5, D2. Right, Chloe, explain the barriers to sports participation. Off we go, first one. First one is racism. So, say, like, if they're in a football match, somebody could be shouting, like, racist abuse at them. Or yeah. Like, being really mean. Um, this could put them off playing. And they might not, and they might stop playing and they might have really good potential, but they won't find out. Yeah, good. Um, you could also, I don't know. Be right. The second one's travel. Um, this is a barrier because if they've got a long way to travel and they don't have a car or enough money to get the train or something, they can't go. Right. So they can't play or train. So, can you think of any examples, say, for instance, with racism, why that might put somebody off from playing it and why it might be a barrier for them? It's not very really nice, is it? No. Focusing. Right, so stop them focusing, good. And then and then what about travel? So can you think of any instances with that? Of why that might be a barrier for people? It's like if there's no local teams around, they might have to travel quite a while to find them. Can you think of any examples of that? There's no rugby teams for girls in Keyford, so in Keyford. Chelsea has to travel all the way to Batley. Poor Chelsea, <laughs> travelling to Batley. <laughs> Right, okay, good. Right, Molly, next one. Um, my barrier is age. Age yes. can be a barrier to sport participation as sometimes the older you get, the higher the cost could get to take part in some sports and you might not be able to afford to take part anymore. Also, you could think that you're a bit too old, you know, to play a sport. If you, you might be about 65, but there is... There is ways about it because they do like 65 and over classes at Kiefer Leisure Centre where you can do yeah, a good. bit of, um, what's it called? Aerobics. Aerobics. So yeah, there is things to do but people don't know about it really. Right, so what might they do to promote a bit more? Well, they could, you know, put more posters around the local area or put it on websites, newspapers, because all people tend to read newspapers. Yeah. Right, good. What's the next um, barrier? The second one is time. Time could be a barrier as you could have kids and um, a full-time job and so yeah. you might not be able to find the time to take part in sport if you've got to look after the children. Right, so who's that going to affect mainly? Males or females, do you think? Females, because it's usually the... Females that do all the work in the house. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Not hinting at you. Though. It, 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 still, <laughs> it still changes, though, doesn't it? There's, oh, more, it, it there's more domesticated yeah. males now, isn't there? Is but then, <laughs> is it? But then, but then females may feel more responsibility to look after children or. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Chelsea. Barrier um, one. Gender could be a barrier to sport because, um, like, females, when you get to a, a certain age, you yeah. get more ch less chance of getting into a team because mm -hmm. a, a lot of girls don't, like, do sport from after a certain age. Yeah. So there's yeah, more, more sport for male in, like, in the local area and around the, like, in the UK. Um, money is a, also my second one is money because, like, um, a teenage boy could go want to go play golf. He could play golf in his local club, but he could not have uh, enough money for like equipment and travel because his parents might not have enough money to give um, give him money for his clubs and balls and stuff like that. Right. So, what would you say age-wise for females is sort <coughs> of most females play at? And when they when they probably when they're young, like like from five to when to like seventeen. Five seventeen. So. so Right. What after about twenty twenty two something like yeah. that. Right. So what might they introduce to to get people of that age, say over twenty five year olds, for females involved in sport? Um. Get them doing like doing like netball and stuff. Get them into like sports sports, but they're not. It's not proper physical, so they, they might enjoy it more. Get them doing like rugby or football. Good. 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 Right. So you've had gender. Oh, what's the other one you said? Money. Money. Yeah. 
So what example did you use there? Like a teenage boy who wanted to go play golf. Yeah. He might not have enough money to for the equipment and travel. Good. Because his parents might not have enough money to give him. And then, and then, what else might the person who playing golf need to improve? So they're, they're okay to a certain standard, say, to say they can go to driving range. Yeah, but if, if they want to like play for, for like a professional club, but they might not have like another sponsorship to. Uh, right, so sponsorship might help them. What else might help them? Um, Where you pay somebody. Right for coaching, like good. for one to one coaching, but they might not have enough money to do it. Right, good stuff. Good, good. Cultural influences then, uh, Chelsea, off we go again, we'll stay with you. First cultural influence on sports participation, age. off we go. Right, good. Age, because people might, some people might think they're too old to get involved in sport. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't see a lot of old like old people doing sport, because of people tell them that they're too old to do it. But like, like I said, you see more young people doing sport down there. But then, because like... People get over the age of six to five and people say to them, like, too old to do it. So then they stop doing it and then they get home and think, why? So then they feel bad about themselves. So it should be, there should, it should be a, an age where everyone should, anyone can do it to an age where they, they can't do it anymore. Right, so how might that help, say, over 60s? Just keep fit instead of just sitting at home watching TV all the time. So it could have a huge effect on them because people might just say, oh, you talk to play sport, so it could um, affect them in later life. They don't Health wise, right? Yeah, yeah. So far. Right, good, good. Molly? Um, mine's gender. So, um, gender can affect sport because obviously there's more opportunities out there for male sportsmen than there is for women. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot, well, there's a, a lot less opportunities for women, and it's just quite disgraceful. Um, the awareness of women's sports is very, very minor compared to male sports. Um, we, women don't get, you don't see every day win, uh, women's football on the TV, do you? You always see the men's football. The women's get a lot lower wage as well compared to men's wage. And, um, yeah. So what could you do to help overcome that uh, cultural... Of, a, if, of this country, say? Well, obviously... Or help to improve female participation? To improve female participation? Well, if the, the more wi female sports that women see on the TVs and the more boost it'll give, the bigger boost it'll give them to take part in sports because if you, if, if you don't see women's sports on the, on, in newspapers, TV, magazines, then... You know, you just think, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> women, enough. Women don't get anywhere. <laughs> right, okay. Chloe? Yeah, mine is religion. Um, this can influence sport because certain religions don't like, allow women mm -hmm. to participate in sport. And also, if they were, they've also got to cover up so they'd be able to wear the Do you know what? Have you got any idea that any religions that follow out those rules? Islam, right, good. So don't like allow them. They've always got to be covered up so they wouldn't be able to wear the appropriate kit for playing. And they might like also not want them to play. So how might that hinder their opportunities to progress in sport? If they're not allowed to play they won't have any opportunities. Yeah, pretty much. So so what could you do to help overcome that? You could. Any ideas? I know it's quite tough, but what could you do, maybe? You could make a club that like, understands the religion and goes by that rules, so they can all get involved as well. Yeah, good. Right, fine. Um, P7 then, three strategies or initiatives which relate to sports participation. Chelsea. Uh, base camps. It's like, good. Uh, base camps is a, it's for kids that are aged from 4 to 13 year olds. And you'll do a range of different sports, mm -hmm. not just like one, they'll do different sports like football, rugby, hockey, cricket, yep. all that stuff. Um, it's also, it helps them get keep fit, keep healthy, meet new people, and they do it through the summer holidays. So then when they get older, they can like do well in one sport because they've learned it through doing base camps every school holidays. 
Right, good. What uh, do you think are good aspects of that then? Base camps. Oh, it's funny, it's joint, not boring. The kids get in, involved in a thing, they do different sports, not just one. And you get like certificates at the end of the week. So it tells them that they've enjoyed it and they've had fun. So they're getting bored all the time. Fair enough, good. Uh, my sporting initiative is the Key for 10K. Yes. The Key for 10K is um, run by um, Jane Tomlinson and um, they raise money for Sue Ryder, um, basically. Yeah, yeah, so the 10K and Keith is the Manorlands one, it's the Leeds one, isn't it? The Jane Tomlinson one. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. that won't make it all, mate. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, it, it raises money for Sue Ryder. Right, the Keith are on, yeah? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Manowans, right. Um, the same old one. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> right, so describe that initiative for me. <laughs> How does that help sports um, participation? Well, it's a 10k run. Yeah. Around Keith, where, and um, it helps sport participation because you can, jo you can run it for fun, you can do it competitively. But once you've done that, you know, you, you might have experienced... Sue Ryder could be a close charity to your heart and that could make you do it. And then once you've run, run it, then you might actually enjoy running and then you could carry on running. And right. Yeah. So just to clarify then, which one does a key to 10k? Manorlands. Right, and what does a Leeds 10k do it for? Sue Ryder. Jane, Jane Thomas. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it's all it's all part of that one, yeah. But this one's mainly for Manor ones. All oh, right, yeah. All right. That one, that one makes sense. It's all for a good cause. <laughs> yeah, right. they're all for a good cause. <laughs> right, good stuff. Uh, actually, good things about the ten k then. Yeah. Think um, things to improve upon. Off it gets go. all people involved, including children and elderly people, because there's no age limit for it. Mm -hmm. Um. It could persuade people to run more and show people that you can run with your children if you can't find time yeah, good. to go without them. Um, it doesn't have to be competitive. It can be for enjoyment. Um, and you can take as long as you need to run it. You don't have to run the whole way. You can walk it, you can jog it. And yeah. Right, good stuff. Chloe? Mine is the Marley 5v5 tournament. It's once a year and yep. it's three days down at Marley. Yep. Um, primary schools from Bradford area and Keith and mm -hmm. Leeds. We all come together and have a massive football tournament. Um, yeah, all the primary school children get involved and they get to meet other people and different kids from different areas from around Bradford and stuff. Yeah. So how 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 would that help sports participation then? It's getting them involved, but it's also showing them that they can like be competitive but have fun while doing it. Right, good stuff. What do you think is good about that initiative, the Marley 5v5, and what do you think you could do to improve it? Um, to improve it, you could get more schools involved and mm -hmm. make it more known about, because there's not many advertisements about it. But it's fun and enjoyable for the kids that take part, and the winner of the school gets a trophy in the last day. So that could be... Yeah, I love a trophy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>